Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and I need your help. My ROV project has kind of come to somewhat of a standstill because I've hit a roadblock and can't find a way through. That's why I need you. What I'm attempting to do is basically create a skid steer algorithm for these two propellers. I want to mount them at the tail end of my ROV, and then I want to steer the thing through differential steering. I don't want any sort of servos or anything underwater. I want to simply be able to control this uh, proof of concept ROV through pulse width modulation from the surface down through a tether. That's all I want to be able to do. Uh, these actually might not be the propellers I get to use because they don't probably put out enough thrust to fight any meaningful current. But that's another thing. The reason I need this skid steer algorithm is because it can be used for many other things as well. Skid steering is a very popular way to get around and uh, I can't find any other way to do it. So, what I'm attempting to do is I've laid out how I want both of these propellers to behave uh, at different positions of the stick. I can't use two separate potentiometers because I'm going to need my one hand for steering, one hand for up and down functions, and maybe a gra grapple or something like that. Let me show you here what I'm attempting to do. You can see here I've got these two uh, blocks laid out in such a way that the left one that's in blue represents the left propeller, the red one represents the right propeller. I've also broken it down into quarters based on stick position so that when the stick is in this position uh, that is as a percentage how fast the propeller is moving. Uh, positive numbers of course are forward, negative numbers are backwards. So if we look at the blue graph here, you can see that if the stick is full forward and, and in the center, the left prop should be going 100%. Similarly, if you look at the right propeller, the right prop should also be going 100% at this point, which makes sense, right? You want full ahead with no steering whatsoever. Now, if we move one space to the left, you can see that blue is going ahead 75 and red is going ahead 100. I had to back off the blue a little bit in order to make a left turn. And you can just see how this uh, slides right and left. This is what I want it to do. My problem, and why I need you, is I have no idea how to make a simple code to make this work. Now it doesn't have to be exactly these numbers, but this is generally how I want it to behave. So give or take a couple percent is fine. So if you look here again, you can see that I've got a vertical axis in the middle, which both propellers are doing exactly the same thing. You can see I've got a horizontal axis across the center in which both propellers are doing exactly the opposite thing. This will give pivot turns. Then if you move along the diagonals out from the center, you can see that one propeller is stopped at that position. Now, of course, these numbers aren't in increments of 25. These are, of course, represent linear scales. After a lot of searching online, I just came up empty-handed. That's why I made this video. I'm hoping one of you out there knows how to find uh, what I'm calling a skid steer algorithm. Now, I'm not looking for any specific language here, and that's key. I'm using an Arduino, which is the Arduino uh, version of C. Now, other people may be using some other language, so really all I need is some sort of a pseudocode to figure out what, how to tell my Arduino how to control these things. So the language is unimportant. I just want to know a simple way to how to handle this. Because where I'm running into problems are in the corners. You can't simply choose the throttle position for both and then uh, subtract or add the rudder position because when you get into the extreme corners up in this region, uh, you have things that go over 100%, which is bad. And if uh, you try to constrain it to 100%, then you have some numbers that don't give the performance or behavior that I was initially looking for. I've also tried to do this in terms of a unit circle and use sines and cosines and figured out that way, but I ran into the exact same problem. I would get propellers that would go more than 100%, which is not possible, of course. And remember, we want to keep everything between uh, minus 100 plus 100 percent on both the rudder and the throttle. And if you know of some solution to this problem, please let me know. Either shoot me an email to mike at mikesinventions.com or better yet, 
leave a comment down in the comment section so that anyone else that watches this video can also see the solution. Thanks for watching and thanks for your help. I really appreciate it.